Hey, what's going on, pros? We're here to a long-awaited install. I see you guys are having a lot of problems with this new Mo Creatures. Well, we're going to get started, and I'm going to show you how to install this in a single player, and then I'll show you how to install it in a server. But first, it's a single player because you're going to need it. All right. So first thing you're gonna do is download all these. Uh, they're gonna need to finish this install. Mo Creatures has added Forge into it. Make sure you get the highest, latest version of Forge possible. Okay, and then you're gonna need the GUI API. 1.2.5 there's a 1.2.5 install and you're gonna need a mod loader and a custom mod spawner and the mod itself make sure all these are up to date get it from mo creatures I put the link underneath the video you can get it from there and uh, shouldn't have any problems so let's get started here you're going to go to your start button. You're going to put percentage, app, data, percentage, and go up to roaming. And you're going to go to find your, right in here, you're going to find your dot Minecraft. Open that sucker up. And there, you're going to see your Minecraft bin, resources, saved files, or so on. Okay. First thing we're going to do, okay, follow instruction, guys. If you guys don't follow instructions, this is not going to happen for you. This is very difficult, all right? So first thing you're going to do is hit open your bin, come down to your Minecraft jar, open it with WinRAR or 7-Zip like I just did, and delete, go find your file that says meta-inf, Right click it once and come down to delete file. Delete that file first thing. All right, so next step we're gonna do is come to your mod loader. Mod loader first. Open this up. You're gonna highlight all these files here. Left click it, hold it down and bring it over your class files. Let go. All right. Your mod loader is done. Now, you're going to close out everything. You're going to start your mod loader. Start your Minecraft up. It should load. Okay. There you go. Now, you're going to create a new world. Any world. I didn't care what it is. All right. It's loaded. Mod loader is now configured into your Minecraft. So now let's exit out of this. Okay, quit. Now you're going to go to your start button again. You're going to go percentage, app, data, percentage. Go up to your roaming. Go find your dot Minecraft. And now you're going to see a lot of folders. You're going to see a mod folder. You're going to see a bunch of mod loader folders. Now, open your bin again. Go find your dot .minecraft. Open it with Rimwar or 7-zip. And next thing you're going to do is find your custom mob spawner. Highlight all these. And install. Slide it right in there. Mod custom mob. Now you're gonna go to your GUI. Same thing. You're gonna open up a WinRAR or 7-zip. You're gonna right-click it and select all files, and left-click it and hold it down and bring it over your class files and let go. That's now that's in there. So, oops. So you bring that and bring it down here. So you make sure you. Uh, Put the ones that you already installed down here, separated from the ones that you're still installing. Now we're going to go to your Minecraft Forge. Open that up. 
left click it right click it select all left click it hold it down and bring it over your class files make sure you don't drop them over here try, try to drop them over your class files and let go and say okay now tricky part you're gonna close this out again again and start up your minecraft again and you're gonna start with a new world again a new world create the new world there you go now forge api custom spawner mod loader is all running inside this folder minecraft is modded right now now the only thing we're missing we're going to close this out again the only thing we're missing is the mo creatures itself so let's get with it start button you're going to go to percentage app data percentage go up to your roaming open it up go to your dot minecraft again and now you're going to see all these folders okay you're going to open your open up your your mo your mo creatures and you're going to see a bunch of files in here now you're going to go to your bin dot minecraft and open up with winrar or 7zip now you're going to left click it right click it and select all files all these files are going right into your minecraft jar you're going to bring it right down here under your class files and let go boom they're all done you're going to let my loaded mo creatures are in there now you're going to close it out and let's start this up Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Now, you're going to start a new world again. I'm going to go into creative so I can just fly around and see things. All right. I'm going to give it a few set minutes so the mob spawner, the custom mob spawner could start working. And uh, we're going to take a look at peek around now in the beginning these things is, if you start moving around too fast the custom the mobs take a little longer to run but if you just stand still for a few seconds let it spawn out they should spawn start spawning pretty easy there's a bunch of rats taking a swim next to the pond they're having a good time I hear them they are having a great time together let me fly a little bit. There's a bunch of sharks over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey, sharks. Now, everything's working, guys. When I finished, join me again for my next install. All right. Oh, look. There's a couple of deers behind me. You see them? Let's take a peek. All right, guys, my next install, we're going to do a server. I'm going to show you guys how. Oh, she has a babies. Look at the baby deers. Don't run away. Come to Diggy. Come to Diggy, man. Shut up. All right, guys. I hope this was easy enough. Follow instructions. Pause the video. Give me a like. Comments. Love me. See you guys later. Adventure Pros out.